Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm very glad you are again with us. This is current news from Crypto World. Let's start. The working day for all cryptocurrencies from the top 10 of the coin market cap resource capitalization rating began with a positive one. Bitcoin is trading slightly about $11,000. Chainlink has risen in price most of all by 3%. Its price is now more than $15. Bitcoin SV suffered the most during the day, its price fell by 1%. XRP also became cheaper by 0.8%. Bitcoin investors discussed the prospects for the movement of the cryptocurrency rate. Not everyone sees the growth prospects of the digital asset in the near future. According to the creator of one of the most popular technical analysis indicators, John Bollinger, the current decline in the BTC rate has opened up the opportunity for investors to profitability purchase cryptocurrency for a long time. Willy Wu, a popular analyst in the crypto community, in turn sees the prospects for further decline in Bitcoin. He explained his point of view by the peculiarities of the position of the cryptocurrency rate. The current state, he said, was processed by growth. Behind it, from the point of view of technical analysis, a uh, correction should begin. The later may lead the cryptocurrency rate to fall. Indian P2B cryptocurrency market triples despite regulatory uncertainty. In addition to the surge in the Indian P2P market in recent months, the DeFi sector in the country is gaining momentum. According to data from aggregated Bitcoin, BTC peer-to-peer -peer trading platforms, Paxful and local Bitcoin's weekly trading volumes in India have been growing steadily since April. For example, during the first week of August, the BTC domestic trade quote was $4.4 million, sharply higher than the $1.52 million weekly trading volume seen in the first week of January 2020. New downtrend looming for Chainlink fundamentals remain strong. The Chainlink price is facing a further downtrend according to technical chart analysts. As noted by an analyst in Credible Crypto, the link price has hit five lower heights since the $20 drop, which is a strong bearish sign. According to the analyst, the focus is now on the $13.5 to $12.9 range, which can serve as support. Later status via Twitter shared a much more bearish outlook. The analysts say Chainlink could eventually visit further lows as there is no significant support for the 12 and 50 level. With Link continuing to suffer losses relatively to Bitcoin price, it expects Link to fall to the $9 support level. Brazilian legislator proposes cryptographic rules for a country that does not. If laws are passed, they will bring long-awaited legal clarity to Brazil's fully unregulated cryptocurrency. Senator Soraya Tronica, a member of the Social Liberal Party of Brazil, outlined on Monday the rules for the business of virtual assets, custodians and issuers, consumer protection, cryptocurrency taxation, prosecution and institution of oversight in Brazil. Pyramid planners and crypto scammers will face new hit. The Tronica bill outlines triggers, penalties and proposes amendment to Brazil's existing financial crime laws that will apply to cryptocurrency as well. Crypto exchange CoinCheck launched first IEO in Japan. CoinCheck announced that it will support the domestic company in launching the country's first IPO. The Hashpilat platform, which distributes content such as Japanese graphic novels, anime and music, is aiming to raise nearly £1 billion through its token sale on Coindesk, Coindesk Japan reports. Coincheck, which is now part of the Monex Group, was forced to gain the trust of Japanese financial authorities after the exchange was hacked for $500 million in 2018, which became one of the largest hacks in the history of cryptography. Minerium launched cryptocurrency with up to 50% yield. Minerium has released a new crypto bond allowing investors to earn up to 50% per year on their digital assets. 
launched in April 2017 with an airdrop at the first self-mining smart contract, Minarium allows users to generate new coins without the need of crypto mining hardware, allowing the code to do all the work. In March 2020, the project went through a new airdrop, which featured nearly 1.2 million addresses and added various new features such as decentralized trading, betting, and lucky draws, probably fair one play. Police arrested South Korean cryptocurrency exchange Coinbit for allegedly overstating trading volumes. Coinbit has ceased operations amid an ongoing police investigation. South Korea's oldest newspaper, Seoul Shin Moon, reported on the Wednesday saying Coinbit offices has been ransacked on charge of fraud. The exchange is accused of using several ghost accounts to increase trading volumes. Around 99% of Coinbit's trading volume is reported to have taken place in recent months, resulting in unfair profits of at least 100 billion won for the exchange and its team. Vitalik Buterin does not consider the national blockchain network of the PRC a competitor. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin believes that it will be difficult for the Chinese authorities to achieve the international popularity of their national blockchain network. Buterin said that for BSN to be internationally approved, project representatives must gain the trust of potential users. In his opinion, what Chinese developers are currently offering is not enough. Vitalik Buterin also drew attention to the high level of centralization of BSN. Users of the project, in his opinion, risk becoming dependent on the decisions of its managers. The developer shared this point of view during an interview with TechNote. New SEC rules for accredited investors will make ICOs more accessible. The new SEC rules for accredited investors will allow more people to invest in early token sales. In accordance with US law, only accredited investors can buy cryptocurrency through token sale and ICO. Meanwhile, the general public can trade any cryptocurrency on the exchange only after the competition of its ICO. In practice, this means that only wealthy investors have access to early investment opportunities. The new SEC rules means that individuals can become accredited investors by proving their knowledge, experience, or certifications. Crypto exchange FTX buys popular Blockfolio app for $150 million. Fast-growing FTX has acquired portfolio management app Blockfolio for $150 million. FTX acquired Blockfolio for $150 million, according to a conversation between Crypto Briefing and CEOs Edward Moncada and Sam Beckman fried The deal is likely to result in the fast-growing exchange, adding millions of users to its platform. That is all news for now, guys. Thank you for your attention. But if you still have some questions, you can always ask them in our comment section below this video. Have a great day. Stay safe. Hope to see you soon. Bye.